Hello, movie lovers. Welcome back to Signatique Channel. Today is all about fresh cinema experiences, and I can't wait to share my thoughts on the newest film making its mark. Sit back, relax, and let's dive into the recap of this exciting cinematic adventure. We see Agent John, a special agent and persona who accompanied his team on DAS operations and their support. They were on their way to the museum because they had some news about someone named Bishop. And through Bishop, they knew that the museum egg would be stolen. When they arrived, they saw an egg placed in its place. However, John realized that something was wrong, so he decided to use a heat sensor. The device determines that the eggs present are not the original eggs, but are imitation eggs. This is because gold emits heat, and this egg does not transmit radiation through the device. However, the curator doesn't believe John and tells him that there is a problem with the heat sensor. John takes lemonade from one of the children and pours it over the eggs. We watched the eggs melt after I poured the lemonade, and everyone realized that the original eggs had been stolen. We see a character named Roland, who was observing what was happening among the people, running away in surprise. We saw the police close the door so that no one could escape. We watched as John tried to catch up with Roland, but Roland was faster than John and was able to get through the door easily. So John takes a different route to capture Roland. Roland managed to reach the second floor. When Roland arrived, he found that maintenance work was being carried out. The police are trying to catch him. However, thanks to his speed, Nolan overtakes them and drops construction tools on top of them. He was about to leave, but was surprised to see John right in front of him. John points a gun at Nolan and orders him to return the egg, but Nolan refuses and tries to run away. John pushes Nolan through a window and the two fall onto the roof. John manages to cling to the edge of the roof and Nolan is able to escape again. John tries to catch up with him. When he tried to catch up, he saw Nolan fleeing on his bicycle. John decides to catch up with him by car. Unfortunately, he gets into a car accident and can't catch up. And more than 56 hours after the theft, Roland arrived at his home in Bali. And when he entered the house, he was surprised to find John there. The entire team is there, including Detective Doss. She started talking to him. And from their conversation, we learn that Nolan is wanted in more than 18 countries. He is an escapee from six huge prisons. Agent Doss tells him that he will be sent to the worst prison in the world. John then starts talking to Roland. He said that he has been studying Roland's character since 2014, when he stole the red cap painting, and that he knows him well. However, Roland denies the robbery and tells John that there is no evidence against him. John looked at the wall and noticed the stolen painting. John begins talking about Roland's past and learns that Nolan is his father's only son, and his first theft occurred when he was six years old. He believed that stealing gave one a sense of discrimination and otherness. And Nolan likes to work alone. Nolan wants to see what he stole in the newspaper. Additionally, Nolan enjoys stalking and endangering himself and will purposefully stay on the scene until the police arrive. He then runs away from them and proves that he is better than them. The police then arrested Roland and put him in a car, where they also placed his eggs in a bag. And when John went to the car, the thief Bishop came and replaced the real egg with a fake one, and she took the egg and ran away. And 32 hours after the arrest, John is in Rome and Detective Doss comes to him with an egg, which she breaks. Detective Doss then accuses John of stealing the original egg. On the day of the robbery, $8 million was transferred to John's account. Detective Doss arrests John and takes him to a Russian prison. When he entered the prison, he noticed Nolan in a cell. John realizes that they will be living in the same cell. Then they go to eat lunch. Nolan starts talking about Bishop. He tells John that it was Bishop who did this to get rid of her. It turns out that she needs an egg to sell to an Egyptian millionaire who wants to give it to her daughter on her wedding day, and in return, the bishop gives her will receive $300 million. So John and Nolan decide to work together to get the egg. John tells Roland about the location of the second egg, which is located at the arms dealer. However, Roland interrupts John and tells him all the details about the arms dealer. John is surprised to learn about an arms dealer that Roland doesn't know about. Suddenly. Roland stood up and began talking to the prisoners. He tells them that John is an agent and a police officer and warns them about John. Then he sits down. Then a prisoner comes up to John and throws food at him. 
However, John did nothing to prevent chaos. John was then beaten by one of the prisoners. However, the police intervened and took Nolan and John to prison authorities. When they tried to contact him, they met Bishop. Bishop greets them and begins talking to them, asking for their help in finding the second and third eggs. She said she would give her 10% of the profits. But Nolan refuses. But John was surprised by what she said about the third egg, since he thought it had disappeared. However, she tells him that Nolan knows where the third egg is. Bishop told John that she didn't tell him where she was because she didn't trust you. Then Bishop left her and left. They then returned to their cells and started thinking about escaping from the prison and making plans. On the morning of the new day, they set off an explosion in the laundry room and began carrying out their plan. The guards try to control what is happening and chaos ensues among the prisoners. Roland and John took advantage of the confusion and fled, but guards noticed them but were unable to arrest them. At the end of the wall are Norlin and John. They managed to get over the wall. When they arrived at a certain place, they saw a helicopter. They attacked the guards and a violent clash broke out between them. John manages to shoot where the main gate of the prison closes. He then ran to the bridge to pick up Nolan with his plane. However, the guards manage to blow up the bridge, and John struggles to climb out, holding onto a rope. Nolan opened fire on the security guard. John manages to jump out and board the plane. Suddenly, I saw security guards firing missiles at the plane. However, John opens the plane's door and lets the missile fly into the plane, and they are able to avoid the missile and escape. On the second day, we will move to London. We see Bishop storming an intelligence building, finding himself in a client's room, and handcuffing him. She manages to use his computer and begins sending messages to Detective Doss. It contained information about John and Roland's escape from prison. When Bishop heard the news, he ran away. We then saw Noellen and John heading to Valencia to steal the second egg. When they arrive at the location, there's a party going on. So John and Noellen go to the party separately. John observes Bishop and decides to talk to her. He told his girlfriend that her hands were tied and she was going to jail. Bishop teases John and leaves, but he goes and pulls her to dance with him. Meanwhile, a trader was monitoring them, and that trader was the owner of this group. So he decided to pick up John Bishop and dance with him. With a simple wave of his hand, John was able to steal this dealer's phone. Then he walked up to him, and together they entered the merchant's office. The phone contains a code and Detective Doss is shown trying to write the code. She asks John to arrest Roland, but John snatches her handcuffs and tricks her into attacking her. They manage to get into the room and close the door. As they go in to retrieve the egg, Bishop suddenly appears and steals it. But they did not give up and a violent argument broke out between them. As Roland and John fall to the ground, the merchant enters his room and is surprised by the thief's presence. Nolan and John were surprised to see Bishop giving the eggs to the merchant. It was discovered that she was cooperating with him, and she was beaten unconscious. When she regained consciousness, the two were tied up. Bishop and the merchant then begin interrogation to uncover the location of the third egg. But Nolan refused to inform them. Bishop begins torturing John to force Nolan to talk. In fact, Nolan recognized the location of the third egg and informed him that it was located in the Egyptian city of Cairo, where it was kept in Cleopatra's tomb. So the bishop was satisfied with the merchant, and they drank wine. But suddenly her dealer collapses and realizing that Bishop has put a narcotic substance in her drink, we get her up and leave. Nolan and John try to free themselves but fail. After a while, the dealer regains her consciousness and randomly throws them. Fortunately, one of the bullets hit the iron in John's handcuffs, allowing him to break them. John decides to catch up with Bishop. Nolan asks him to take him too. Roland tells John that he did not tell Bishop the correct location of the third egg. Actually, the two of them are walking together, and as they are walking, they see a ladder and start climbing it. And when they got out, they were in the middle of the ring and it was full of spectators. Then the bulls went wild in the middle of the arena and the bulls started attacking them. However, they were able to run and manage to get out of the ring, and they get on the train. John asks Roland where the third egg is, but Roland refuses to tell him and says he doesn't trust John. John pushes Roland over the edge of the train. At the last moment, John pulls Roland away, and they collide with another train. 
Roland was surprised by what had happened and learned that John had done all this to instill trust in him. John starts talking about his childhood and what he had. Impressed by John's words, Roland believes him and decides to tell him the location of the third egg. He tells me that the third egg is in Argentina and that I came there because the egg belonged to Hitler. When Hitler died, his assets were moved to Argentina. This card can only be used in his NOLAN. A few days later, they arrived in Argentina and headed to a location on the map. When they arrived, they got nothing. John can't stand it anymore and throws his compass to the ground. They hear the sound of iron crashing and are surprised to find something underground. They decided to descend, and when they arrived, they went in search of eggs. After a long search, they were able to find the egg. But suddenly, Bishop appears and threatens her with a gun. She asks Roland to give her eggs. When Roland goes to Bishop, Detective Doss and his team suddenly attack them and a gunfight breaks out between them. The thieves work together to leave the location and eliminate Doss and his team. The two attempted to flee in a car, but police caught up with them and a violent confrontation ensued between them. You can see that there was a waterfall at the end of the road. The thieves decided to jump into the river. Police were unable to jump into the river. We then see Nolan in the river with the egg, but we don't find John. He decides to leave the egg on land and look for John in the river, but John was already ashore. That's where Nolan comes in. They decide to run away together but are noticed by Bishop. Nolan tries to tease Bishop, but suddenly John hugs Bishop. It appears they are married and everything that happened was a well thought out plan to get the three eggs through Nolan. Once they have the egg, they leave Nolan tied up in the forest. A few days later, we move to Egypt and watch the wedding of an Egyptian billionaire's daughter. John and Bishop were attending a wedding. Egyptian billionaire gives eggs to her daughter. But suddenly, the police intervene at the party and arrest the millionaire on suspicion of stealing the eggs. John and Bishop were able to flee town without incident. Six months later, we see John and Bishop in a small boat. Nolan shows up with them, asks them to help him with a big heist, and tells them that together they will form a powerful team. If they refuse, they will be arrested because Agent Doss will freeze all their accounts and tell them he is going to arrest them. But John refuses. But Bishop tries to talk him out of it, telling him that they are being forced to steal. John agrees and decides to go with Noelin. When Detective Doss arrives, there is no one on his boat. Here we see John, Noelin, and Bishop on their way to a new mission. And the movie ends here. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed this film recap and want more, subscribe now, like, and share captivating stories with your friends. Tell me which movie you'd like me to summarize next. See you soon.